Trinity exposed number seven. The doctrine of Christ includes the Father and the Son. 2 John chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. Simply by abiding in the doctrine of Christ, absolutely, you'll have the Father and the Son. Why? Because in Jesus Christ dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. One body, Jesus Christ, God the Father as the soul, Holy Ghost as the Spirit. Three in one. If you have the doctrine of Christ, you have the Father and the Son together. Look at verse 10. If there came, come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, the belief that Jesus is the, the Father and the Son, at the same time, the soul is the Father, the body is the Son, the Spirit is the Holy Ghost. If any come and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. For he that biddeth him God speed is partaker of his evil deeds. I don't I reject this this notion of this Godhead thing that there's just all three in one body and th I reject then you're evil according to this passage right here and you're not allowed to come anywhere near my home. I will not accept somebody in that believes in the Catholic Trinity. If they're ignorant, they're calling the Godhead the Trinity and they they know that Jesus is God, completely holy God. Um well okay, you can correct them. You can take them aside and say that kind of correct you. But you get these people that say, that refuse to give up on this Catholic Trinity, they are evil. They're wicked. They're on their way to hell.